Hello dear subscribers and guests of the channel. In this issue, at your request, namely thanks to these subscribers, the Incredible Hulk and King Sharks will enter the battle. The second version I take from the Flash series, as it suits the green monster more than the version from the Suicide Squad. Guys, I want to turn to you. I ask you to support me as much as possible, so that the channel develops further. I will be grateful for any of your support. If you like the video, then be sure to subscribe. The channel will not stand still, and I will constantly update it. Guys, make yourself comfortable, put likes, and we begin. Consider the characters and their characteristics and start with the Hulk, the real name of Bruce Banner, a character from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a scientist in the field of biochemistry, is a gamma mutant who restrained his anger in every possible way, and as soon as he gave free reign, he turned into a huge green monster, whose growth is 2 meters 80 centimeters has tremendous destructive power, durability, speed, high immunity and regeneration, as well as an empathic boost that increases his power depending on his anger. And now consider the Shark King, real name Shay Landon, a character in the DC Universe, a former scientist, marine biologist. He is a metahuman, with the characteristics of a human and a great white shark. This monster has a height of 4 meters, a huge shark mouth, increased regeneration, strength, tact, electrolocation, the ability to stay and act freely both on land and in water. The latter is his main habitat, where his abilities are additionally increased. Let's now look at what advantages these characters have. In terms of size, the advantages of the King of Sharks, namely in height, and in terms of additional equipment, they are approximately equal, and more specifically in muscle mass, except that the Hulk is broad in the shoulders. But still, in general, the advantages of the King Sharks, namely due to growth, but in terms of strength, the Hulk will surpass. Yes, the Shark King is just as strong. He easily tore the roof of the house, but the Hulk showed more in this regard. But the most important thing that makes him stronger is his anger. The more he becomes furious, the more his strength grows. Emil Blonsky, in the form of an abomination, also surpassed the Hulk in size and partly in strength. But in a fit of rage, the Hulk overpowered him and eventually defeated him with great effort. And the Shark King cannot boast of such an ability. He has a natural superhuman strength that was bestowed on him by Dark Matter, and does not increase in any way. In terms of speed and agility, here they will be approximately equal, with the exception of the aquatic environment. Shark King will be superior to Hulk in this location, but the green monster is capable of long and high jumps. Shark King can also jump high, but he still won't reach the level of the Hulk. As a result, both in terms of speed, showed the same movement in the essence and during the battle. In terms of strength and endurance, the strength will be in favor of the Shark King. He cannot be killed with conventional weapons, and if he can be wounded, then he has regeneration, which quickly restores any wound. I agree. The Hulk also cannot be killed with conventional weapons, and he also has regeneration, but he does not have it as fast as the Shark King. But the Hulk will be superior in endurance, as he withstood the powerful blows of the Abomination. Let me remind you that this character in some places surpassed the Hulk in strength, and also did not pass out after after being hit by a heavy chain metal object, and King Sharks was just knocked out by Groat, a foreign object, and since I take into account strength and endurance as one point, then here they will have a draw. As for the intelligence, I think everything is clear here. The Shark King will surpass the green monster. He was able to outwit the guards of the Argus and escape, and he could also talk and act tactfully. And the Hulk's intelligence was below average, and was equal to the intelligence of a child. In general, I would not say that the Gamma Mutant is so stupid. He could use foreign objects in battle for both attack and defense. But still, in this regard, he will be inferior to the Shark King. So, the Shark King is superior in terms of characteristics. But now we will find out if he can emerge victorious in a possible battle.
Seeing each other, both will launch an attack with speed and meet in close combat where the Hulk will clearly overpower the Shark and the blow will be powerful. Shark King may be on Earth but not for long. As soon as the Hulk approaches him, he will be able to knock him over from himself and, rising to his feet, will beat the green monster and after a few blows, he will lift the Hulk and throw him aside and the latter, having risen sharply, will throw the first heavy object at him and he won't miss. But this will not harm the Shark King much and when he sees that the enemy is running towards him in response he will also throw the same object at him and he will reach his goal the Hulk will take this blow easily but since he was on the move at that moment this is his will distract and the king of sharks will immediately attack and overpower the Hulk because of all his strength he will throw him to the side and from the fall of which the green monster will receive a strong blow and be stunned the shark king thanks to his intelligence will dominate the Hulk for some time, but the green monster is also not stupid and, having risen to its feet, can use certain objects against the Shark King in battle and the Shark, noticing that he was preparing for battle again, head for him, but this time, the Hulk will meet him with dignity, and with a couple of powerful blows, he can lay the amphibian on the ground and finish him off, after such powerful blows he will be knocked out and the Hulk, having knocked out the enemy, will throw him far away from himself and will see him off with his furious gaze. But since their possible battle will probably take place in the city, well, as they usually like to do in Hollywood, in that case, King Shark's body can hit or hit a power line after being thrown by the Hulk, and it can charge up. At least that's how we've been shown in the show, and will follow that rule. And the Shark King, having charged, can become strong for a while, and he can attack the Hulk again and the second one also attacks him. But he can get a powerful blow right in the jaw, from which the Hulk will simply be thrown away and the Shark King, lifting him up, will press him against the wall where he will try to strangle him. But no matter how strong the Shark King would become, the Hulk, having become enraged by this, can generate more power and overpower him. Having made several blows, he can eventually strangle him himself. Bottom line, the Hulk will still win, even if the outcome of the battle is different. And if the battle drags on, then in any case, the Shark King will have to return to the water, which means he will be weakened and then the Hulk can end him. But if the King Shark somehow get to the water, or using his intelligence he will be able to lure the Hulk into the water, then the outcome of their battle may be completely different. But still, in a spontaneous battle, the Hulk will definitely come out victorious. Friends, as always, write your opinion about the new release, and also write which of these characters would win. Until we meet again.